First of all, uh, some of the misunderstanding and misnomers about the Quran that it is a book written by Muhammad, and already Dr. Nishasi said that he was illiterate. So Muslims believe that the Quran is uh, the word of God, the verbatim word of God, came to Muhammad, peace be upon him, through Archangel Gabriel. That's one thing. The other thing that this book deals with all different aspects of our daily life. So it deals with the rituals, it deals with the family issues, it deals with the way that you deal with, with, with your neighbor, it deals with the way that you deal with people of different faith and how to respect them. It deals with the way that you deal uh, with orphans, people of need. It deals with the way that you relate to your wife and children. It deals with the concept of justice, freedom. So those are some of the, the issues or topics that the Quran deal with. Uh, and also it is, uh, uh, there are the similarities between the, the Qur'an, which Muslims believe to be the final testament to mankind, yes. and the Old Testament, and the New Testament is amazing. A lot of similarities, mm -hmm. a lot of similarities. So we are not talking about a foreign book, a book that came from nowhere. So mm -hmm. we're talking about a book that came from the same source who sent the good news to Prophet Jesus, peace be upon him, who sent the Torah to Prophet Moses, peace be upon him, who sent the, uh, the Psalms to Prophet David, peace be upon him, and so on and so forth.